the basic fact is is, is uh, twofold. One is that Africa responded well. I think we should always remember that and not uh, lose sight of that because the Western media is very forceful to say that oh it's, it's because we died so many and uh, we are not seeing the deaths. I mean they're all of course we didn't count all the deaths. Yeah. Just like nobody when you count things you don't count everything. You, you can't count everything. But we didn't see people on the street of Accra dying yeah. and people were carrying them away. I mean now we saw that scenario unfold in India. So when people are dying massively, you cannot hide them. In May of 2020, we saw people dying. 2021, we saw how India caught up and people were dying and they were burning them in mass, mass graves there. We didn't see that in Africa. Definitely, I don't know the number of cases of deaths in Ghana, but even if you multiply that by five, it still doesn't represent mass deaths. Okay, we responded early. I tell you, on the 22nd of February, we convened a meeting of all ministers of health in, uh, in Addis Ababa. 22nd of February 2020. Yeah. We're at the, uh, Egypt. Egypt on the 14th. The 14th. One week later, I saw that and I said danger was here. Yeah. Let all ministers, they all came to Addis Ababa. All of the African continent. All continent. We sat there as ministers of health and agreed on a common strategy on common uh, course of action because we had nothing we said when you get there and the virus arrive do the following things went back countries were shutting down their borders with two cases of covid right so that first phase blunted uh, uh, the, the the spread of, of of covid on the continent nobody should ever take uh, uh, make us not take credit of that, those actions that were they were very courageous actions because it, it meant that airlines were not flying. The airport here was shut down and, and frontiers were f shut down there. Schools were shut down, were shut down. So that slowed and blunted the spread of, 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 of COVID there. Many countries in the developed world didn't do that. They were counting on technology, that they, they would use technology to beat that. So our cases, that created what I call a delayed pandemic in Africa. Second part of that is that, yes, people, many more people have died than uh, uh, we are reporting. As this continent, I think about 200 of 250,000 uh, people have died. But let's be that by four times. It means one million people out of a continent of 1.3 billion people. is still relatively uh, uh, less than compared to what we have seen in other parts of, of the world. So Africa must take credit for the good work that the, the strong political leadership, the, 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 the readiness, the innovation. Ghana started drones, okay, testing for, for COVID in remote areas and whatever. So, I mean, we should take credit for the things that we did right.